coming to a neighborhood near you. Coming to a neighborhood with near you guys. Hope you guys are ready for the end of the world. Kind of tired, ready to get home, but I'm gonna pause and see if I can walk past any more. All right, I couldn't, I couldn't really see nothing. Um, my feet kind of hurt. I am. Maybe I'll make another video of me walking to different places to see exactly who's starting the whole. You know, you need vaccination to enter and stuff, so. But, I don't know, I have no fear. I'm not taking that shit. I'm not fucking, I don't suggest anyone else to take it. I've been talking about this for months. Talking about this shit in 2020. Eventually, all this stuff was gonna happen. You know, it's either you gonna continue living living in this uh this this matrix this 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 uh this satanic era that we're in or it's, you're gonna you're gonna look back to how your ancestors used to live and become gods back in nature they were gods we were gods in nature you know when we started living in these concrete jungles that's when we became our lower selves. We lost connection to nature and everything else, the universe, by moving in these fucking, these cities. Remember how you was a kid playing outside all the time? You remember how we used to, you used to be able to smell Smell it, smell the rain before it actually rains. That's cool, you couldn't wait. You couldn't fucking, like, oh, honestly, like, I can do it. Like, I still can do it. I can, I can tell whatever, like, when it's about to rain and shit. But most people lost connection. They lost touch, if you would. I don't know, man. I, if anything, I just feel bad for my brothers and sisters who's unaware, who never had the knowledge to be in nature or the desire to be in nature. Because all the lies and how they, the beast then took us out of our element. I tell you, the new, new nature gods are going to be like the homeless, the less fortunate. These are going to be the ones to walk freely. And I hope they learn how to get back in nature as well, but this is going to be okay for us. This is going to be a-okay. You know, my whole life, I've always known that this wasn't life we were living. And it's just, it brings joy to my heart to know us and see videos and just other walking into random people in the street. And now they're, they're actually catching on to how corrupted the world we live in. And, and it's only gonna get, get better on that note. More and more people is gonna wake up to the truth. But time is short. Time is real short, guys, and I just hope you guys are ready. You know? Because most ain't gonna be ready. Like, this is why I kind of stopped covering videos like this, because it just seems as though people just don't want to listen. People just want to watch your videos for entertainment and not really absorb information you're trying to tell people in. 
you know, just go back into my videos, go to other people's videos. We've been talking about how this system is crashing, you know, it's, it's over. It's over, slowly but surely. It's not gonna happen when we want it, you know? I'm not in tune with the beast, the beast of this system, so I can't tell you exactly when everything's gonna come down, but I, I can know just from the world and how other humans are acting, you know? No one knows how to love. Everyone's lives a selfish life. Everyone assumes, everyone talks about each other. And this is why I found myself, man, especially being an empath, it's fucking, it's, it's horrible being able to feel everyone's, it's like just their energy and it's just, there's a lot of people just have bad energy nowadays and typically I just, you know, I don't even, most of the time I just don't even talk. I just keep to myself and even still me living life that way I still people still find a way to be upset or mad at me that's how I know it's the end I don't need these these people who's running this world start implementing their their laws and their you know these horrible ways of life to for me to understand that it, it's over y'all done had y'all fun Y'all done took this planet from the biological species that was originally born on this planet first. It's over. Whether you believe in spirituality, whether you're a god, whether you believe you're a god, whether you believe in this whole Jesus facade or the Bible, it don't matter. We all can feel it. It don't matter. As long as you're living life with love in your heart and peace, that's all that matters you know that's literally all that matters and it's like you don't need religion none of that shit just live with happiness in your heart and that's what people in today's world fail to do like it just sucks because people really don't know what's about to happen and it really sucks I just, I just want certain individuals, I just want y'all to be, to be happy. Morning. I just want y'all to be happy and to be prepared for what's about to happen. I've always had like a deep hatred for this world, you know, and I feel when some people do see me, I feel like a lot of times people can pick up on that hatred and it's, it's interpreted, it's like, it's not, not interpreted, but it's, it's talking as a way as though I have hate for people or I, or I, um, like I, I hate, like, I, I don't know, like I hate people or I'm, or I'm hating on someone, but really it's just, if I was to hate anything, I was to, I hate how life is ran because I know it's not natural and I know it's artificial and I'm, I'm tired of the whole mask society everyone's wearing this mask and you know i walk around with my pain my suffering my happiness all like all the time on my face you know i'm not gonna put on this mask and be buddy buddy happy with people 24 7 because i know the the true predicament we in this it's like how do we go from trees and grass animals to all this all this is an enslavement this is all this this stuff is this is the result of our planet being taken from us look at the water look at the water brown and green that water's dead it's not alive i don't know if you know but water actually is alive you could tell if a water if you have live water when you freeze it it'll develop a star in the middle naturally it's hard to find that shit nowadays every the things we eat the things we drink everything is dead everything is artificial we live in an artificial world that's why and that's why 
I don't even think people really know what it means to be so-called woke. I don't even like putting a title on myself as being this woke guy because it's like it's a media trend thing. Like I've always f had this mindset that shit wasn't right. And it's just now I'm just in the now it's like the system is crashing and it's like these people are just throwing it out there this this woke shit and it's like i just feel like this is that woke term is just from them i just feel like it's either you were born and you always knew what it was or you know you're just one of these new age trendy kind of people like i don't know how to explain it like like conscious whatever you want to call them i've always known as a kid that shit wasn't right Never understood why we had to go to school to learn about shit that we never learned in our everyday lives. Like you living in now as a, a, a like as an adult, nothing we learned in school fucking taught us how to live life in this system because it was doomed for us to fail. This this whole system was made to have us crash. And now it's either you're going to finally open your eyes and realize that or you're gonna fall with this system. And there's just, just, there's no more, there's no more beating around the bush and being soft and, and weak. There's a lot, it's, it's like, no, it's time to toughen up and lose, get, get out of this system and be our own, be our own beings. Or I, I don't know how to explain it, but it, it's just, it's time for a change. Cause I don't care what people say, we are weak. Like, I, that goes for the whole, you know, gangsters talking about, oh, oh, I got bodies and shit. And, you know, you got bodies of killing your own kind, whether you white or black. You got bodies of killing your own people. You don't know the true value of life. You think it's okay to just end somebody's life out of hatred and dislike. And that's, that's going back to what I said in the beginning of this video is everyone's hearts is filled with hate and anger nowadays. No one don't know how to love. You don't know how to just accept someone. If, if no one don't have this mask, this, this, oh, acting like I'm, I'm happy and cool every day, then you're not accepted. So, so be it. I'll be alone. I won't have friends. I won't talk to my family because I'd rather be real. I'd rather die real. I'd rather wear my pain and everything on my face so you can see it. Because I understand truly this whole way of life is an enslavement literally the whole way we're living is is just is just so deep and people just don't understand that's why i say i don't just no one who who read the bible and all that stuff i understand that the, that book is like a codex i know there's truth and lies in it you know i would just like to think i think life would be better to live if i didn't have no Nobody or nothing, no book, no nothing telling me how to live my life. If we just came down here, if we didn't have media, TV, you know, so-called leaders, I feel like life would be free and happy how it's supposed to be. You know, I was, and it's like, I've always just felt deep in my soul without reading or, or hearing this opinion from anybody else. I've always felt like, when it was us everything was free like I, I honestly feel like we can everyone can live in this world you know living free not paying rent none of that shit I feel like everything was made to just have us suffer dude and it's because this is an enslavement y'all looking for you got people talking about these UA, UFOs and you know all this bullshit these aliens like y'all fail to realize if you want to go there and think about that if you ask me the invasion been took place this is a result of our planet being conquered i don't even know how i got i just i just saw the the vaccinated signage just now i'm just on a, a 14 minute video already and it's like it's just it's just stupid how these motherfuckers telling us what we need in our body. Like, I'm sorry, but I have faith in my body that no, no disease, I don't need no shot, no vaccine to help me survive. My body's strong enough to do that on its own. I don't care what anyone say. I'm not going to let 
nobody tell me what I need for my body to survive. I know if I'm smoking cigarettes and you know drinking, then I know myself, my body isn't gonna handle it. That shit was made to destroy it. So I know in order for me to fucking have a long, healthy, peaceful life, is to eat right and eat things that are grown from the planet. Cause that's how we were eating before. You know, we didn't even touch meat. The only time our ancestors touched meat was during the winter because the crops didn't grow. Or during the cold, let's just say that. During the cold, crops wouldn't really grow, so they, they resorted to, to eating meat. But then then again, they ate it fresh, they ate the whole animal, they had a burial for it, and they, they, they thanked the universe you know, and the most, whatever you want to, I guess, whatever you want to believe in, they thank their creator for giving them that life or that meal to eat. And they respected it. That's just the whole, I don't know. They just respect it the whole way of life. That's why I don't like respect people who just, who do pointless killing of your own people and even hunters killing animals and stuff like that. Cause they're not, no one's respecting life anymore. Everyone's just, um, it's just, it's just so bad. The world is bad, and I'm tired of it. And, and it, it's been bad like the past couple of years because it's, it's just so strong. I could just sense how how negative people are. You know, I can just sense how just, I don't know. I, I just hate the, I hate the whole power. The everyone think power is money and forgotten what true power is, the power of your soul, the power of your mind, the power of your body, the things we were able to do before they start spraying all this shit in the sky and everything we eat then took us out of our, our, our element. But I have a feeling we're gonna get back to there. We definitely are. And if you're not gonna be with that system, that, that uh, not system, but if you're not gonna be on that wave, I guess, then you're just gonna be a mindless puppet, man. You're gonna take that shot, have your conscience pushed out of your body. You know they be telling you the truth. You will own nothing, but you will be happy. Going to work every day. Probably some of y'all not even gonna be controlling your body. That's honest, in my opinion, I feel like your conscience is gonna be pushed out after, after taking that you know what. But, I don't know, beautiful walk back home. I just saw that, and like I said, it just, it just sparked something in me, man. And I just know I'm, I'm tired of talking about stuff like this. I'm tired of looking at people, you know, make videos on it, or just hearing people, you know, walking on the street talking about how much they see how the corruption is, or. I don't know, just the whole, this whole way of life, I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. Whether it's whatever you believe in, I, I don't care. I just, I can feel in my soul that whatever this is, it's it's ending. This beast of a system is ending. And it's either you're going to embrace it and fall with it, or you're going to return to your roots and live in peace and harmony in nature. Whether well, people were talking about the ascension or nothing, no, I still have faith in this planet. This planet is still alive. This planet is still breathing. It's going to take some time, but I know it's going to go back to all nature everywhere. And it's going to have to start with the destruction of all this crap. And I'm ready for it. I just hope you guys are. This is Bahamut, and I'm out.